Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about what's in the February Honey Pop Club box and why. The theme for this month's box was alternative love stories and basically I wanted it to be kind of an anti-Valentine's Day box but not against the theme of love because obviously I'm all about love. So I just wanted to do something that sort of focused on the relationships you have with different people instead of it all being about the one and it all being you really tacky like valentine's teddy bears and all that nonsense so here's why i picked the items and what brands they're from and why so first off we've got this print by il famso and this was a collaboration between myself and stag and raven who i'll link down below i wanted two tattooed girls together it was their idea to make it pink i really don't know why i didn't think of that and it's a frameable size, you can buy a frame exactly the right size for it in like Ikea. It's a really nice card and I love the imagery. It makes me think of my best friends and it makes me really happy. You can either give it to your other half or you can give it to your best girl or you can give it to your sister or your mum if she's like super into tattoos and stuff. But I love it and I think it's really cute and I wanted to share a really nice illustration with you guys this month and I'm actually working with Stag and Raven on April's box already um, so there'll be another really cute print in there. Next are these little patches from Cousins Collective. Um, they're split 50-50 so you're either going to get a red patch or a pink patch. I obviously keep one of every box for myself so I get a pink patch for me. Um, I actually put it on this dress. Patch here. It's actually a good idea, I might go and iron that on later. Um, but so basically, I love that these are like a traditional tattoo design, and I love that it's the little crying heart, it makes me really happy, even though it's quite sad. They've got tons of really cool patches on their website, so I will link to the website down below. Or if you follow me on Instagram, I tagged them a couple of posts ago, so go and check them out. So, for the Cruelty Free Beauty item in this month's box, I wanted to pick the perfect red lipstick but I couldn't pick which shade because they're both as good as each other. They're both from Sarah Hill. One of them is Capricorn and the other one is Sadie Doll. Now Capricorn's a new colour from Sarah. The colour's really rich and it's quite blue toned. I actually think it's my all time favourite red lipstick which is saying a lot. Now Sadie Doll and this is a new one because I actually ran out of mine. It's more of an orangey red colour and I think this actually suits everyone's skin tone. If you go on Sarah's website, which I'll link down below, you can see it on everyone, whether you're, you know, as pale as a ghost, or you've got a really olive skin tone, or you've got a really dark complexion, this actually suits every skin tone. I think it's because it's quite an orangey red. It looks really good no matter what colour you are, or no matter what hair colour you have, or no matter what lips, red colour of lipstick you usually wear, it's quite an unusual shade and I love it. I wear it all the time. So that's that. I don't really want to play favourites with the things that are in the Honey Pop Club boxes, but I love this pin badge so much. It's not even funny. This is from Little Arrow Shop and it's actually, I saw it and I instantly thought of my favourite romantic movie, um, Cry Baby. If you guys haven't seen it, then you have to watch it. It's by John Waters, it's got Johnny Depp in it, Iggy Pops in it, it's amazing and ridiculous and awesome. The pin badge is massive, if you can see it in comparison to the other pin badges, like it's the size of three together. I will link their shop down below so you guys can have a look at what else they sell. I know they do a Cry Baby patch as well as the pin badge, but I'm just obsessed with how big this is and how heavy it is. So that is our little pin badge for this month's box. I just love it so much. <laughs> Lastly, so basically I was at the Lush Summit a couple of weekends ago and I got talking to Humane Society about the fur industry and you know what, if there was anything on top of donating money that I could do to help. And basically I just wanted to use this month's box to raise awareness so they're in collaboration with the Humane Society and you can go to their website I'll link it down below if you want to know any more um, about them or the work they do 
I know most of you guys have pets and this is something really close to my heart and I know that you guys feel the same way as me. The thought of anything bad happening to my dogs, like I can't even think about it. So the fact that this happens to other animals, it's just so distressing. So I hope you guys will join me in sharing awareness or promoting awareness um, of what the human society does. So I'm going to just pop that in your boxes. On to a lighter note, um, there are actually still some February boxes available um, just as a one-off purchase. So if you guys loved your boxes so much and you want to buy one for one of your girlfriends, if you want a box and you don't want to subscribe to the monthly payments, then if you just go to honeypotkisses.com and click Honeypop Club, you can join there and you can just buy this month's box as a one-off. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing and joining the Honey Pop Club and supporting me on this little subscription box journey and if there's any brands that you want me to work with then just comment below or tweet me or Instagram me and I'll get back to you or look into it and if there's any themes that you guys really want to see then again just comment below and let me know and I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a good day guys, bye!